And welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who's returning. My name is Jack, spiritual nutritionist helping you or teaching you guys how to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. All right, so today I am doing a very focused reading. Um, I am doing a reading called, I wrote it down, uh, how will healing your mother wound help you on your journey? How will healing your mother wound help you on your journey? Okay, now the mother wound doesn't mean that you had an asshole of a mother in this life, okay? Doesn't always mean that. Mother wound is a generational wound passed down through the females in your line, in your family. One one likes, one one likes as I say that, okay? Now when you have a mother wound, it can encompass self-limiting beliefs, it can encompass uh any type of emotional trauma that has manifested into physical illness or inflammation. There are a lot of different ways that a mother wound can affect you. Okay, um, so I just wanted to give you guys a little, uh, how you can check what type of mother wound you have through your astrology. So if you look up your personal natal chart, and you can do that for free on Cafe Astrology, um, you're gonna wanna look where your moon sign is, okay? your moon sign and um, your sixth house, okay? So your moon sign is gonna show you where you hold emotional baggage or emotional trauma in your body, okay? So for example, my moon sign is in Aries, okay? And my sixth house is in Virgo, <laughs> all right? So Aries governs the head and I have had so many, so my entire head, all right? I, growing up, I had chronic sinus infections. Um, I have, my eyesight is terrible. My eyesight is absolutely terrible um, and has been pretty much my entire life. Like I was born with a black eye because I was pulled out with forceps. So, and then also I have, I've had a lot of teeth issues. Um, my gums, my teeth. Actually, these two front teeth are crowns. They're not my actual teeth. Um, so that just goes to show I hold a lot of my emotional trauma in my head because that's the area of the body that Aries governs. So look at your moon sign um, and then you'll, if you want to put it in the comments, I can tell you guys what area of the body it does. Someone said Scorpio, so that's your reproductive system. Okay, your uterus, your ovaries, um, or if you're male, your testes, it's the same area. Okay. So Gemini is going to be the lungs, arms, and hands, Libra, kidneys, lower back, and your glutes. But you guys can also Google this too, okay? Aquarius is going to be your ankles, your calves, and your circulatory system. Leo is the heart, the spine, and the upper back. Virgo is your digestive system and your abdomen, including your, your abdominal wall or your muscle tissue there. Okay, so when I say mother wound, it doesn't always mean, it, it, does, it can mean physical inflammation, but it can also mean that you really dislike, you really dislike the area of your body um, that is corresponded to the zodiac sign of your moon sign. Okay, so for example, um, let's say, uh, <laughs> that's a little too much. What's a good one? Okay, so let's, for example, Sagittarius. If you have a Sagittarius moon, Sag rules um, your hips, okay? Your hips, your thighs, and your liver. So with a Sag moon, you may really not like the way your hips look. Maybe you think your thighs are too big because that is just gonna be an accentuated area of your body, okay? Um, does that make sense to you guys? So any area in your body that you are like, Ugh, like don't touch me or I don't like to look at it, eh, you know what I mean? You just cringe. <laughs> that could mean that you're holding emotional trauma there. It could be from a mother wound, okay? Aquarius, I said already, circulatory system, ankles and calves. All right, 
Um, but let's see the the again for anyone who knew who's new just coming in the reading is uh, going to be how will healing your mother wound help you on your healing journey? Okay, so let's see. Aries is the head. Capricorn bones, joints, and knees. Okay, anyway, courage. How's it going to help you? It's going to help you step out of your comfort zone. Be more courageous. Face your fears. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. It, um, no longer holding yourself back from things. Okay. Simplicity. I love that. So this is just kicking off the reading. Um, let's see. Yeah. Step forward. Throw your shoulders back and stand up for yourself with passion. Speak up for those less fortunate be, and to me, that's speaking up for the inner child. So healing your mother wound is going to help you find your voice, help you step into your power, releasing self-limiting beliefs and not allowing other people to affect your decision making. It'll allow you to acknowledge your fear, but not be ruled by it. That's just the um, the oracle card, you guys. Guys, I, I said all the um, I said all the physical areas of the body already, but I do post these readings on YouTube, so you can rewatch it there, or you can just Google it. Just do zodiac sign body parts. That's it. All right. So let's see. Let's tap in the tarot. Are you kidding me? Guys, the moon, this is the archetype of the mother. <laughs> Tarot. Okay, how will healing your mother wound help you? Okay, the moon. Um, I feel like a lot of emotional healing, um, a better understanding of who you are. Um, I feel like too, uh, maybe tapping into your, your spiritual side more. Okay, the moon can represent your third eye chakra. Um, so tapping into your spiritual gifts or um, hidden gifts, hidden aspects of yourself that you haven't been able to explore. Um, I'm also getting like a better understanding of your journey. Temperance, Sagittarius, and then High Priestess. Wow, and Eight of Pentacles. Um, it's going to give you a much deeper understanding of what actually brings balance into your life, what you need in your life and what you don't. I love that the high priestess is here because I literally said your spiritual gifts. So a lot of you, you're tapping in. This is this can represent um, your soul's journey or past lives. So has anyone here been focused or been called to discover what your spiritual gifts are, like your more spiritual side. I don't know. Because High Priestess is here and the moon, both very psychic cards. Very, very, very spiritual cards. So maybe um, trusting yourself to take the road less traveled, um, bringing more balance into your healing journey, trusting your intuition more. There it is. Uh, trusting yourself. I feel like a big, for a lot of you, your mother wound is you don't trust yourself. Okay. It's always like looking for external validation, looking to your environment for answers, um, needing to, to know the outcome before taking action on something. Okay. I feel like healing the mother wound, how it's going to help you. You are, even though you can't see outcomes, you don't know what's going to happen. You will trust yourself enough to take action on things that are emotionally fulfilling to you, but also um, healing to your physical body as well. Building more solid foundations, you're going to learn a lot more about yourself. Getting over your fear of judgment. Guys, I'm telling you, judgment, the moon, and high priestess, some of you are generational mediums. Some of you are generationally gifted. Okay, um, and then we have the Ace of Swords and then the Chariot. Are you kidding me? Three of Cups. Okay. I know you guys are asking me a lot of questions. Do men go through mother wounds? No, uh, men can go through mother wounds as well. We all have moon signs. So the moon in astrology represents the mother. The sun represents the father. I'm just focused on mother wounds right now. Okay. Um, 
I feel like too, it's gonna help you determine what your calling is, your your soul's purpose, your soul's path. Um, moon and judgment, it's gonna make your path very clear. Because And the reason being, we have Ace of Swords and then the Chariot there, which is that clarity. Um, but it also is going to remove that self-doubt. Because when you don't trust yourself, what is that? It's self-doubt. Okay. Um, Brenda, stop asking about David. I'm not going to answer you. Um, judgment, Ace of Swords, the Chariot. I feel like it's going to empower you because you now you it's like releasing this old version of yourself, right? Like whenever we release an old version of ourselves, it feels like a death, right? But the thing is, part of your calling and healing this mother wound is that you are you're meant to move forward with it, but maybe to motivate others, to guide others, um, to help others. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, let's see um, what's uh, blocking you from healing the mother wound or your challenge. Knight of Wands, yeah. Queen of Cups, or actually, let me reshuffle. Um, what's the question mark? Okay, what challenges will arise if you don't heal the mother wound? If you don't heal the mother wound, what challenges will arise? Fear, anxiety, worry, feeling like you can't escape it. Some of you, it's panic attacks. Some of you, it's anxiety attacks. Um, Nine of Swords, to me, is like the worst card in the entire deck um, because it's just this perpetual state of worrying, of worrying about the future, being stuck in the past, being ruled by the old mindset, okay? Not being able to sleep. Um, I feel like it's interesting because High Priestess, Moon, and Nine of Swords, there's something here where like you guys aren't sleeping properly. This is like hormonal imbalance is kind of like the sense that I'm getting. Like, do you guys feel like at night you're wired and tired or you have insomnia? Okay. Um, like your, your body is tired, but your mind is like, bah! like zigging all over the place. Yeah. Um, it's because you are in this perpetual state of thinking the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath you, like something is going to go wrong. Okay, you're in this chronic fight or flight. So the, when I talk about healing the mother wound, I'm not just talking about like, oh, spiritual and blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's actually affecting your body. It's affecting your sleep. It's affecting your, which affects your mood, your digestion, your metabolism. Anyone struggling with like weight gain or weight loss, depending on how your body manages stress, okay? Um, or just like, up like mood ups and downs maybe you know what I'm saying um or just like just this chronic like I can't shut my mind off and stop worrying about things okay so when I say hormonal imbalances I mean elevated cortisol chronically all the time so that's what a, a chronic fight or flight is five five thank you uh Allie for calling that out five five likes by the way guys we have a 50k like goal so please tap the screen and like the like um, so when you're in a chronic fight or flight state, your cortisol levels are elevated. Okay. Um, and what happens is that it slows down functionality of organ systems in your body that are not primary to survive to survival. Okay. So the thing is, if you don't hold yourself accountable and face your mother wound and heal it, you're just going to, these problems are going to get worse. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like if you, the challenge if you don't heal it is you're just going to take action based out of fear. Okay, so some of you are like, you're just taking action because, just because you're taking action, right? There's no like rhyme or reason to it. It's like, oh my God, like if I don't do this, if I don't do this, if I don't do this, 
you know, there's just, uh, if you're taking action based out of fear, not based out of peace, it's never going to get you anywhere. It's just going to keep you going in circles. So has anyone been like really frustrated in a certain area of their life because they feel like it's just going in circles and it's not moving forward? This can be in your relationships, in your career, in your finances, in your health and wellness. It can affect your life in a lot of different ways. The tower. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so what I'm kind of feeling is if you don't heal the mother wound, like chronic anxiety attacks or just very chronic anxiety, um, there's something here about like a, like rapid heartbeat or high blood pressure. There's something in the body that's off here. Increase in physical inflammation is kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, um, so I don't know if anyone has noticed if they've had increased inflammation, um, if you've your anxiety is getting worse, your headaches are getting worse, your uh, digestion is getting worse, maybe you're getting sick more often, maybe you have really bad brain fog, um, or you just feel internally something is wrong in the body. This could always be just thinking worst case scenario as well, like your mind always goes to worst case scenario. Thinking bad things are coming toward you, even though they're not. Did you just see that? Five of swords. Yeah, mind. Guys, this is very toxic mindset. Being ruled by the ego. Being ruled by the ego. Yeah, um, it can affect your face. Like it's called moon face. So has anyone noticed like sometimes you get moon face if you're like very stressed out? Like your face just looks more rounded, swollen. Notice how it's called moon face. The moon is mother archetype. <laughs> anyway, four of cups and ace of cups. Nine of cups. Are you looking at me? <laughs> um, not looking at you. Well, your energy, yes. Your face, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, five of swords, four of cups, ace of cups. Um, you're just, you're, you're never going to know what makes you truly happy. Because you don't slow down long enough to figure it out. Like a lot of you, uh, I feel like there's a, there, like you question in your mind, like, when am I going to find love? When is love going to come in my life? Um, for some of you, um, or when am I going to feel happy? When am I going to stop thinking this way? You're always going to be looking for for happiness in your external reality rather than generating it from within. The thing is too, the challenge what would be challenging for you in not healing the mother wound also is never exploring things that could actually lead to your true fulfillment here okay because of the fear you can't figure out what truly fulfills you unless you try new things right you put yourself out there in some way vulnerability right uh, that is a very common mother wound um fear of vulnerability fear of being seen truly all right but let's see um action steps how how are your spirit guides guiding you to heal the mother wound two of cups Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Five of Pentacles. Excuse me. Okay, one, one piece of guidance I'm getting for you guys is connecting with your past and like literally writing down how you have grown from it what you have learned, the lessons you've integrated, okay? 
Um, because when you do that, you're acknowledging your own power. You're acknowledging your own successes here. And I feel like maybe you had a mom or like a, a theme in your life where you had to bust your butt for a compliment or acknowledgement of a success, or maybe you were never acknowledged for what you achieved growing up, right? I know for me growing up, like if I didn't have like perfect grades, if I didn't dress the way my mom wanted me to dress, if I didn't look the way my mom wanted me to look, if I didn't act the way my mom wanted me to act, it she would hit me. Um, she'd hit me. She'd scream in my face. Um, she would make me feel like, the lowest of the low. Um, but making peace with that, forgiving her, forgiveness is a big time. Yeah, if I still, if I did it right, I still did it wrong. Exactly. It was just never, nothing was ever good enough. Like I was never good enough. My grades were never good enough. I never looked good enough. Um, I never acted good enough. But again, this could be generational. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to mean you had a terrible mother. Um, mother wounds don't always have to be super abusive. It could just be self-limiting belief cycles too as well. Okay. Um, another thing I'm getting from this is focusing on emotional successes emotional abundance not physical yes forgiveness is part of healing the mother wound so the way that i describe forgiveness to clients is when you are able to get into a state of being grateful for the pain that that person put you through because without that pain without that abuse without that experience you would never have become the strong individual that you are now. You would have never identified a cycle that needed to be ended that could have been passed on to somebody else and someone else would have suffered. Okay, so forgiveness is the point at which that you are able to be grateful for the experience and the person who, cre who caused that experience. And that takes time. That takes time, you guys. Let's see, what else? Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Um, there's something that you want to take a leap of faith on, um, and it has something to do with like a community or doing something in a group, seven of cups. You've already been considering it though. You're like going back and forth about it. Um, so I don't know what this is for you guys, but you want to like, it could be connecting with an Aries Leo Sag or connecting with, with someone that is already doing what you're doing, is already doing what you want to do, or connecting with a passion, taking a leap of faith on it. of wands interesting okay page of swords i feel like you've gotten to a certain point on your healing journey with the mother wound okay um nine of wands can be like standing up for yourself um being guarded boundaries is more seven of wands um, this isn't so much a boundary. It's more like if you feel like you're struggling with the mother wound, maybe get some help in healing it. 
right? Like if it's stressing you out, if it's zapping your energy, if you're like trying to figure out how to do it on your own and you can't, this is getting help from like a community um, or at least taking initiative in learning how you can heal it. Let's see. Earthworm, clarity and rumination. The earthworm reminds you that some essential work is happening under the surface in your life. Nature is bringing you closer to your goal. It also suggests that it's time to confront what troubles you. Consider breaking down big emotions into less intimidating, smaller chunks that are easier to digest and understand. Okay, so maybe not looking at the mother wound as like this huge overarching thing, maybe learning how to break down it, break it down into parts and then addressing each individual part slowly. Okay, um, let's see. So I just cut the deck for a final message. Patience. So be patient with yourself in the releasing process. But once you do release, it's amazing how your life is going to change. All right, guys. Um, but that's what I got for you for the how will healing your mother wound help you on your healing journey?